I don't know about you, but I'm completely jealous of Tim's way of life. It's quite fantastic to get paid to test drive and review cars while traveling the world in the most expensive vehicles and attending the biggest racing events. What could be unappealing about any of that? A well-known YouTuber by the name of Tim Burton is Shmi150. He's a London-based British automobile blogger and YouTuber. Two million people subscribe to his YouTube channel which has videos of him traveling to see exotic vehicles and utilizing and maintaining his car collection. In 1987, on September 17th, Shmi 150 was born. He quit school after completing his A-levels and started a career as an automobile YouTuber, where he has established a reputation for himself. What is going on in Shmi's personal life? I'm curious to know. Shmi has a girlfriend despite not being married. He probably spent $1 million of his job income on his personal affairs, but he also made $1.5 million on investments. Additionally, he would have had to pay business expenses of almost $850,000. As a result, it's assumed that Shmi 150 is worth approximately $8 million. Why does Shmi have too many sources of income? I believe Tim Shmi has six primary sources of income. He's frequently described as the automotive YouTuber who works the hardest, and I concur. Shmi's career on YouTube is thought to have bought him a total of $16 million in earnings. Shmi 150 will have had to pay close to 45% in taxes on his career income because he resides in London. His career earnings are thought to be roughly $8.8 .8 million after taxes, after paying $7.2 million in taxes. Since then, the YouTube channel has continued to expand, presently covering prestigious events across the globe and recording some of the most amazing high-end vehicles in existence. Several social media channels on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok have been added to Shmi 150's network. Shmi 150 consists of a Facebook page that receives over 50 million visitors each month, and an Instagram page that is expanding even more quickly. And lastly, you may find him on Twitter and TikTok. YouTubers also rarely rely just on one source of income. Sponsorships, affiliate commissions, product sales, and speaking engagements are additional revenue sources that may produce significantly more money than advertising. Tim Burton's brand is Shmi150. He is thought to be worth $20 million. He's a YouTuber that primarily publishes films about exotic vehicles such as the Porsche Carrera GT, Aston Martins, McLarens, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, etc. He explores every continent in search of the best and most exclusive automotive material. He discusses his encounters with some of the priciest automobiles in history. Shmi 150 is estimated to have a net worth of $750.49,000, even though Shmi 150's actual net worth is unknown. Although Shmi 150's actual net worth is not disclosed publicly, our site's expertise estimates it to be $750.49,000. Tim finished his A-levels and dropped out of school at the age of 18. He then started building an online electronics retail company that eventually expanded into a high street store in London. The company was shortly sold, and he moved abroad for ski teacher training before starting to teach the sport in New Zealand. Tim returned to the UK after recovering from a serious injury, where he started a permanent job in the technology department of an investment consultancy in the city of London. The experience and motivation to achieve moving ahead proved to be quite important while working for a successful and fast-growing company. The prediction for $750.49,000 is solely dependent on YouTube ad revenue. In actuality, Shmi 150's net worth can be higher. Some sites estimate Shmi 150's net worth to be closer to $1.05 million when taking into account additional sources of income for a YouTuber. The cornerstone of Shmi's expanding empire is his YouTube channel. When he went to a Top Gear event in 2010 and was mesmerized by the new Ferraris and Lamborghinis parked outside, his career as a YouTuber and vlogger officially began. Even though the film was unprofessional, he built one of the cars that received 10,000 views in a short period. Just as bad as my stupid videos are. There was no turning back once Shmi realized he was onto something. His channel has over 2 million subscribers, and his work is seen more than 80 million times a month on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram combined. He has over 4,000 videos on his channel, and they have collectively earned about 900 million views, according to Social Blade. The majority of the money comes from views-based ad revenue. An average of 300,000 people watch his movies each month. The payout from YouTube for 1,000 video views might range from $2 to $7. These rates also rely on other elements, including the device, location, ad kind, content type, and the quality of advertising in a video. 
His earnings from his YouTube channel alone, in my estimation, might reach 2 to 3 million. He made the decision to leave his full-time job when the Shmi 150 project begged for more time, showed promise and could support itself. Now he can devote his time to the supercar video theme on a variety of connected platforms, from freelance video and media work to participation in car events and sourcing for promotional purposes. To be more specific, Tim worked as a freelancer for a software business under a non-disclosure agreement, produced catalogs for an auction house, participated in a few automobile commission deals, provided social media consulting services, and managed a few well-known automotive websites. Harrington Finance and Approved Motor Finance are partners in this venture. According to what I understand, Shmi received a commission when he refers customers to these businesses for auto loans. If it's any consolation, I commend Shmi for becoming so involved in businesses outside of YouTube. These outside collaborations have the potential to be several, and for automotive YouTubers, they are the best method to guarantee a reliable income stream if the platform even experiences any sort of downturn. Additionally, Shmi collaborates with Mini Champs in Germany. In his garage, the business sells a variety of model automobiles based on Shmi Mobiles. He most certainly receives an affiliate payment or a commission for every sale. These models are pricey and exceedingly intricate. On his website, Shmi has also featured several goods that organizations affiliates. Before include digital drawings, tire cushions, socks, polos, sunglasses, and wall bumpers. The high street goods generate affiliate revenue for him. He has had books published. In 2016, his book, Living the Supercar Dream, was released. This book is still in print and you can buy it online or at any bookstore in the world. Another passive source of income for him without any effort is book sales. Shmi150 receives additional funding through sponsorship agreements with organizations like Huawei. Before YouTube, he ran an online electronic and retail company that eventually expanded into a high street store in London. He exited the company and moved on to teach skiing. Afterward, he was employed by a London-based investment consultancy technology unit. According to the language, cost, and current audience, the average revenue from advertising on the channel is estimated right here, right now. Daily, it's $864. Weekly, it's $6,045. Monthly, $33,528. And yearly, $602,920. This income must be adjusted whenever the channel data changes and is good for channel visits through October 19th. These figures could not accurately reflect the channel's other revenue streams, such as sponsored content and product sales.